guys and welcome back to the gollies um we are sharing with you a meal that Hi we guys. prepared yep welcome back to the gollies so tonight it's kind of a, another day of, or another dinner of keto dinner this is not uh, breaded chicken. This is actually a mm -mm. almond flour. It's breaded, but with almond flour. Oh yeah, it's, I mean it's breaded, but it's not bad. And breaded. spices. Yeah, it's almond flour and spices only, and some delicious green beans. Southern style green beans. Yeah. Oh. And some hot sauce, Louisiana hot sauce, and mayonnaise, mayonnaise cheese. cheese. And as usual, jalapeno. jalapeno and pickles. Yep. Pickles and onions. Yeah, we always uh, love this stuff. So, mm -hmm. okay, we just gonna pray and um, continue our video. For just yeah, uh, stay tuned for just a second. All right, guys. So these, my husband and I both made. Um, basically we cut three chicken breasts in long ways. Do you want one with a lot of bread or um, not? One and one maybe. We'll okay, try. This, this try first. Happen. No, no, stop. Uh, try first. Okay. We'll work on it. Okay, I'm gonna get Yeah, I like to work my way. <laughs> and take some green Yeah, beans. be careful. Oops. Cut some white bees here for the table because it's a little greasy. Mm -hmm. Not greasy, but um, what's the word? Uh, liquidy. Liquidy. Yep. Liquidy. Some good beans. Can you put me some here? Just a little. Thanks. Move. A little bit more. Okay. Sorry. Should yeah. Move. Good. Good. Thank you. How are y'all guys doing? How are you doing? I yeah, hope you we, had a wonderful day. Yeah, we uh, uh, we try always to keep you guys um, tuned with us. Yeah, we uh, been a while out, you know that. Yeah, but we we keep trying now to keep um, doing as much as we can taping. Mm -hmm. mm. This is really good. Yep. Cheese, the chicken is really good. Yep. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Green beans need a little salt. I forgot to put salt and pepper and all that. Mm. But it's still good. Mm. Not bad. What was that? Mm hmm. Different. Here, guys, let me not be rude. Take a bite. Come on, open wide. It's a big, it's a big bite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. Mm, this is really good. Mm -hmm. Oops, got dirty. Today is just like a lazy day. Not much going on. The green beans, y'all, it tastes delicious. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's basically bacon fat, <laughs> bacon grease, then onions, um, fresh tomato, bell pepper. A can of green onions, a little bit of tomato sauce, some water, and some garlic, and salt and pepper. I actually love now the uh, bacon, bacon grease. <clears throat> I feel it gives so much flavor to the food. I cook this chicken in bacon grease and oil. Mm-hmm. It gives so much flavor for the food that I cook, easy. 
-hmm. And this is chicken breast, y'all. I haven't gone to Sam's yet. Oh, I'm going to take y'all with me to Sam's. Y'all want to go to Sam's with us? Hmm? <laughs> no? I'm sure they want me. I said, I don't know. I think they said yes. I think so. <clears throat> Mm. We don't get to, we don't get too much stuff from Sam's. Mm -mm. We only get like the um, the meat, meat and stuff and uh, the main things. The one that have in bulk. Meat, cheese, bacon. Especially oh, bacon is meat. <laughs> yeah, especially we are only two people, and we um, we don't eat that much, like. Um, for, like in, in regards to food by itself, like our meals, I mean, when we don't eat that much. My wife, because of like her mm -hmm. health issues and uh, the hernia that she is having, mm -hmm. she can't eat that much. Plus, me, I am at work, so mm -hmm. like I only eat like a couple, a couple of times at most, sometimes only one time at dinner. I don't eat breakfast even because I'm not a breakfast guy. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I know I start to sweat. <laughs> oh, there's a I, I hate that. Oh, your tail's over there. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. Um, which is what I wanted to talk to you about, guys. I do have a topic. Why I'm on keto? How long have I been on keto? And the reason for my weight loss surgery. Okay. So, the reason I'm on keto is because I was 677 pounds. Yep. I said it's 677. Mm -hmm. And my husband loved me. Skinny, fat, he don't care. He loves me. So I thought it was I thought I was doing him an injustice by being so overweight. I was in a wheelchair. I could no longer do much for myself. You know, like I would, I would say the part like uh, we never felt her gaining weight. No. We never felt any difference. We're just doing our life with him. Mm -hmm. Sorry. You know, when you are living with a person, you can't see any difference. Yeah, just, you, you don't see. You can't see any changes or anything. However, Which is why a lot of times when people are in a um, in a relationship and someone cheats on them, they don't see it because it's like every day, it's whatever, it's regular. Mm -hmm. So anyway, yeah. So we didn't. I didn't feel myself gaining weight. My husband didn't see me gaining weight. I mean, I would take pictures and I'm like, oh my god, I'm so fat. Um, I gained so much weight and he's like, no, babe, you're beautiful. Like you're, you're perfect to me, which I appreciate, but it wasn't helping anything. Um, wasn't helping my situation. Mm -hmm. I think I'm done. <clears throat> so when did I start? Uh, so she, she started the journey completely on uh, June, 2017. Hmm. See, he's good with dates. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I went to go see Dr. Wright at the next hospital in San Antonio. Um, San Antonio, Texas. Yeah, San Antonio, Texas. Um, and he put me on a diet, well, basically. Technically, exactly, just in case since we're seeing it or making <laughs> advertising it, South Texas surgeons. South Texas surgeon, yes. His, his name is Dr. Keith Wright. Mm -hmm. Since she mentioned the complete name or mentioned the story, it's Dr. Keith Wright. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the location it was in downtown. It's currently in, um, in one, 151 San Antonio, Texas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I met with him. They weighed me. I met with the nutritionist, Emily. Um, which is great, by the way, because she actually taught me how to look at things, how to calculate my macros. Um, not not macros, but basically like how to calculate how many carbohydrates I'm eating per day, which I guess are macros, right? 
Um, and the way she explained it to me is, would you rather have a meal that is maybe, um, five, five carbohydrates, or would you want one small package of yo play or like a Greek yogurt, which would satisfy you more? And I'm like, well, duh, like the plate of food and not just like a little cup of food. And she's like, right. So when you're on this diet or when you're on this journey, you have to think smartly about how much carbohydrates you're putting into your body mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. what makes you fat is okay yeah genes because if you have fat parents you're more than likely to be overweight i should say overweight parents not fat but i'm a fatty so i could say it <laughs> i mean you can have the genes however your your you don't way, have your metabolism and stuff yeah your way of eating could also increase mm -hmm. a um a common misunderstanding of way of eating that if you eat fats you're gonna uh, gain weight um sorry what you got cheese all on your chin sorry sorry, <laughs> sorry guys okay so let me, common, wipe, let me wipe my baby mm, common mistake <laughs> says that if you fat things or uh, fat meat or any kind of like fats, if you eat butter you're gonna be fat unfortunately that's complete Bogus, <laughs> complete wrong. Yeah. There's nothing right at all. The uh, way to gain weight is actually by eating carbohydrates or any sugar item. Which is all the chips and all the Mac McDonald's and fast food and all the stuff has breads and everything. Carbohydrates and also car carbohydrates. It's like in or sugar in uh, some type of uh, fruits. So it's it's a big big journey. You would definitely have anyway, to look at it online. Yeah. It's not something we can do. Your, do your own research. But um That's yeah, the so point, yeah. We, I was I wasn't happy with my life. I mean I was married. I felt like I was a I was doing him an injustice by being overweight and not really being able to do anything. So um, yeah, in July two thousand six in June. Mm -hmm. We went to the doctor and she started the journey. And my husband was against it. He was he knew people that had done the surgery and had passed away. passed away from it. Sadly. Yeah. Unfortunately it's not each time being done right way. And even the doctor would tell you immediately, okay, I'm sorry, I can do the surgery, but you're gonna sign the wave that you are fully fully responsible for any circumstances, meaning that if something happened to you or you die. He's not responsible. He's not responsible. So, all this, all this uh, type of surgery, you you will have to sign because with. it's elective surgery. Mm -hmm. He said that like he, he will you will waive him from any responsibility if mm -hmm. if something. Anyway, let's focus on the point. So yeah, <laughs> and, uh, I mean yeah, we'll talk to we'll go sideways. So I talk too much. Anyway, so she started in June. He asked her that she needs to uh, lose a fifty pound before. Uh, we do the surgery mm -hmm. from 50 to 100. If he got, if she got 50, he uh, approve her. If she got 100, that would be amazing, and we we good to go. So the first she month. started at that time. It was uh, when she went in June. She was a uh, five. Uh, what what we were? I think she you were uh, five forty, I believe. Something in. Um, she st when we started, she was 677. I had the, already started on my own because I was like, you know what? I'm that tired. was, in, I think, in April or something. Yeah. So we started that time, but officially, when we went to the doctor, it, she was 540. Or, uh, no, no, sorry. It was like, I think she was like 600, I believe. I, I don't remember exactly. That was in June. So he wanted her to follow 50 to 100 by November. So and I said she, challenge accepted. So she was very successful. She was she lost a hundred pound. Mm -hmm. We went back in November and she was uh, accepted for the surgery. And she was at the time she was like five hundred. Mm -hmm. And she got the surgery. Actually, she had it on uh, November seven, two thousand seventeen. 
Yeah, I remember the dates exactly. Yeah. Yeah, he, he's yeah, November seventh, two thousand seventeen. She had her surgery, and that was uh, like one of the turning points. Um, we'll That's definitely show you a picture before and after, yeah, yeah. or during the process. Man, that was the best decision I have ever made in my entire one well, off. Excuse me. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, excuse me. One off. What do you mean your best? It was the best decision I made. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> My yeah. bad. Now, yeah, I mean, really, the decision was like I, I was at the beginning afraid of it because of the experience I had with the the friend that who had passed away. But I was so happy after when she got it done and she started to lose weight. I, uh, you know, the there is a common expression. Uh, the I mean it could be an Arabic expression I don't know anyway but it says the the love mirror is blind I don't know if this is like you know it or not love is blind in yeah English. love mirror is blind or love is blind so you cannot see completely the other person or the the truth of the life of the other person is if you are living together for continuously mm -hmm. so this is what was happening so. I didn't feel the difference for my wife. I didn't feel her gaining weight or losing weight. Like I just seeing her beautiful all the time. Mm -hmm. However, a turning point actually that was in 2018. Mm -hmm. I saw she posted a picture. From... Of just my face. Yes. She took a picture of herself and she posted and she's like, okay, this is before and this is me now. I was like, wow. Is that was yeah. you? I was like, oh my god. Because even me doing the doing the side by side of just the face, I was like in shock. I was like, whoa. Yeah. I don't even mm. recognize that girl in the other picture. Like I only recognize me now, but I didn't recognize me then, which is really weird. Because you don't see yourself the way other people yeah. perceive or see you. I, I completely did not believe myself like wow we were, I was living with this person and now I'm living this person mm -hmm. like I didn't feel I didn't feel the difference I didn't see it in my eye like I always seeing her as my wife my beautiful wife like whatever she whatever got her weight but he's trying to gain points y'all yeah. whatever keep 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 talking. anyway so I I always admire what she did. Like she really lost lots of weight. We're talking about and you know, over four hundred pounds. That's not an easy number completely. Yeah. That's yeah. not. Yeah, like, four hundred over four hundred pounds. Yeah, yeah, I lost within a amount of weight. <coughs> like two, almost two years. Two, two years. years. Yeah, it's two years, and uh, it's going to be like uh, two years and a half now. Like in February or two years and four months. Yeah. When she started. Yeah, it's. Um, it's a huge progress like so which is why in some of the videos you see like the skin hanging and stuff because I have a lot of extra skin now um, because I lost so much weight so fast yeah so that's don't, a, um, don't mind don't <laughs> mind the extra fat don't don't mind it yeah so this is like the uh, the story that we were uh, dealing with but I mean it's it's an incredible story like in uh, the we are yeah. Even, even her uh, doctor reached out to her and talk about like posting her life. Her, her, her story was the surgery and losing weight because Stephanie did, did so well. And you know, because of my weight, the doctor actually thought that I was going to be unsuccessful because there's a lot of people that go in thinking that it's a fix all or a miracle. Like, like oh. I'll just get the surgery and like I that'll be it. I lost weight today, so that's going to be enough. I can eat whatever I want again. That's mm -hmm. never going to be the truth. If you are on weight loss surgery or have been thinking about weight loss surgery, keep if in you mind stop, that if you eat something that you're not supposed to, like let, let's <laughs> say, go ahead. Let's say, for instance, um, if I'm to eat bread, with this meal or potatoes or that's why you don't see a lot of like um 
You can put it there, babe. Okay. That's why you don't see like a lot of like carbohydrates in our meal. Because once I eat carbohydrates, I get severely, severely sick. And mm -hmm. so does my husband. Because I've been on it for about two years, keto. And my husband has been on it for about a year. Or no. No, officially no, like four months now, five months now. Yeah, officially like five, six months. Yeah. But um, he's been on and off with me for about a year. He'll like support me and do it and then he'll give in and you know, it's only natural. I mean, because I do that too. I'm like, oh, I'm craving a candy bar. I'm craving ice cream and I'll eat some ice cream. And then it, it was a bad move because I don't keep anything of it in. I mean, I enjoy it at a time, but then it's just like, comes up. Sorry, you're eating, I know, TMI. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so um, we'll show you like the pictures of of me. I mean, I was in a wheelchair, y'all. I couldn't stand. And the moment that I realized that something had to change is that we went to California with some friends and we went to the beach. <clears throat> All of my friends, my husband got to walk on the beach, no problem. I had to be helped walking on the beach. And then my friends had to go and grab my wheelchair and put it on the beach so I could sit down because I was out of breath walking like a couple of feet. You know, and that's, that's, I mean, I'm, I'm 38. At the time I was what? <laughs> I'm mm. not going to math. 36? Mm -hmm. 36 to be that big. You know, not having a, a life. I mean, I, I was still active. I was still trying to do and go and, you know, whatever. But it wasn't, it wasn't as the way I want to. I was like. A prisoner trapped in my own body because I chose to do that and it's so funny when I first started losing weight I started getting these these bones here in my neck here in my um, what are these called I don't know. whatever these are called <laughs> I don't know um, collarbone <clears throat> my bad collarbone I started seeing like the definition of it and like my neck and stuff and I was like, huh, I didn't know people had bones here. Because <laughs> I had never felt them or I had never seen them on me. I'm like, people have bones here? What's going on? Like, why are there bones? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Imagine. <clears throat> Can you imagine, right? So anyway. And that's why I decided to lose weight. <clears throat> um, that's how I got my surgery. <laughs> and you know, everyone's like, oh, you took the easy way out. Some people have told me like, oh, you cheated or you took the easy way out. Um, and I'm... You would never have to do so. What? No, I would at this point. That's not true. Because at some points, when you are so much weight, your body will fight against you. You will not be able to lose weight by yourself. You're you're too much heavy. Can do exercise. Can no cannot do anything. So doing the surgery will definitely help because with your uh, with you wanting to to change. Spicy. It will help you because it will reduce your amount of intake <coughs> and it will make you going faster. What do you mean going faster? Losing weight faster. Lose weight faster. Sorry, yeah. Go lose weight faster because it will decrease your intake and yeah. it will make you a faster process so, of losing weight. So to give you an example, I used <coughs> to eat a whole plate like this of chicken, like a whole rotisserie chicken. Plus sides, plus potatoes, plus bread. You remember how much we were making pastas? Oh yeah, we we, made, we would eat pasta like every day, <laughs> like chicken pasta, beef pasta, pork chop pasta, everything pasta, and then it was drenched like in butter sauce, or it was drenched in like 
Alfredo meat sauce. And we're not talking about like a even a one pound bag. We're talking no. about two pound. Two two and a half three pound sometime bags of pasta. No. One pound bag. I would definitely finish by myself. Yeah, he can eat that by himself, or he could. I used to be. Used to. I'm sorry. No, I used to be eating by myself a one pound bag. That's just a, without no salsa, without anything. Adding the salsa, adding the, the butter, adding all this stuff. And, and Stephanie would be like eating almost the same, like, like yeah, the same or a bit more. Yeah. It and is, then be hungry in like an hour or an two. An hour, an uh, hour later, be hungry and be like, oh, I want something else. What else do I want? Yeah. And it now. Was, it was not, not healthy at all. No. Like, like, so, can I ask you, now that you've been on keto with me, how do you feel for the friends that don't know? I feel so know? much better, like your, uh, your <coughs> stomach is much better, you can easily breathe, you don't have to, you don't feel stuffed, you don't get much, that much hungry, because when you eat uh, actual meat or actual protein, whatever the kind is, you really get full with actual food. You get satisfied. The carbohydrates or bread or anything, it doesn't satisfy your stomach. It fill you up and within like an hour or two, you get hungry all over again because it you were filled just air technically. Yeah. You know? But you yourself, like have you seen any benefits from it? I mean that's Yeah, last week I did two, I, I went down to two sides. Yeah, he, I'm, he, I'm, my pants were well, used to be 52. I'm 48 now, so yeah. So he lost pants sizes, he lost shirt sizes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I used to be uh, 4X, I'm 2X now. He lost a shoe size. Nah, that no? doesn't change. <laughs> no. <coughs> no, I'm still 15 and a half or 16. Yeah, he, he, his foot, his foot <coughs> is a size 15 <coughs> and a half, 16. Yeah, I still that, that that doesn't change. His ring size is a size fifteen. And ish, fifteen ish. Fifteen ish. Fifteen ish. Fifteen and a half. And that was interesting to me. I just found out that uh, almost uh, your feet size is almost your ring size. Except me. Oh yeah, she is. The next I'm one. a freak. <laughs> My ring size is a size six. My foot size is a size 10. Yeah. Go figure. Awesome. So, yeah. yeah. I'm glad we have this dinner. It was really delicious. So mm -hmm. we had some good chicken and green beans and some pickles. I don't know why I keep doing that. I keep eating the pickles, but they're spicy. Like they're, they're hot, but I love them. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Stay tuned guys. Uh, Please, if you are new, please subscribe. Uh, welcome, watch the, welcome. welcome to our. Click the like button to be also no, uh, click this, uh, the ring to be notified once we have a new video. Recommend us, share our video, our channel, if you like our uh, videos. Also, would you like me to do it? Sure. Okay, guys, welcome. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this with anyone. Click the notification bell so you'll be notified when a new video is uploaded. What is that? I'm professional. Okay, excuse me. <laughs> As you see, we are, we we love our like back and forth. We are happily coupled, married couple for six years now. We're a couple, happily. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we. So really, like, if you have any any comment, any any idea for us to do, as long as it's keto or it doesn't have any much uh, carbohydrates, because yeah, we'll do we'll do some like we did the twenty leg chicken challenge. We're gonna yeah. do some more challenges, but <clears throat> we have to really keep down the carbs, y'all, yeah, because it affects us really bad. Awesome. Um, what was I gonna say? I was gonna tell y'all something. I don't know. Next time, maybe. <laughs> I don't remember what we were talking about. Nick, this time I'll tell you. Awesome. And the gullies are out. Bye, y'all. Peace. Ooh.